I'm so fucking scared. <laughs> um, Don't be scared. We're not gonna let this fly, right? The Jim Crow logs are being reinstated. Are we gonna... Y'all gonna let... They really sitting up in that courtroom? Let me do some digging. I had to look this up officially because you gotta be joking right now, right? They are not joking. A court has decided to uphold a racist law, a racist voting dynamic in Mississippi. And they admit it is racist, but they're still going to uphold it anyway. And their bull feces reason is that they're worried about the crime rate. <laughs> Let me explain this to y'all. They basically will not have no say so of who votes for the judges. The white chief of justice would appoint its own judges, prosecutors, public defenders, police officers running a new district. I see the state of consciousness that they're trying to bring us back to. This movie is literally explaining what is gonna happen. And it's based on a true story. They about to come together to make their jobs easier. Watch this clip. This woman, because she was living in a bad neighborhood, was falsely accused of selling drugs. What's happening in Melody is happening all over our country. Drug task forces use military tactics to terrorize poor people. This is the basic example of what they're trying to push. Watch this clip. If you plead guilty to felony possession with intent to distribute, you can go home today with a 10-year suspended sentence and a small fine. But I never sold any drugs. Then post bail, we'll set a court date. $70,000. Or you can stay in jail and await your pretrial hearing in, uh, end of March. That's almost six months. I can't do that. I mean, what am I going to do about my kids? I'm sorry the burden your behavior has imposed on your children, Miss Roberts. That is why I'm prepared to offer you a plea. Under no doubt, if you don't take the plea, we will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. They all in the circle. You're basically not going to get any help if they come at you with some legal bull crap. I'm going to say this. Matter of fact, I'm going to let somebody else say it. So with that being said, this is a message to all you gang members out here. If y'all have enough common sense to have this person doing this, this person doing that, this person making the drugs, this person killing phone, this person running shit, this person doing that, y'all have enough motherfucking common sense to start a motherfucking army to protect your fellow people. And with that being said, if this situation ain't tell you anything, you better know this. Ain't no more acting like how y'all acted after the Black Panther Party was dismantled. The universe is over here working spiritually. We got stuff to do too. If y'all let this fly. And I ain't talking about no riding because that ain't gonna do nothing in these coded systems that they trying to make. We gotta protect our people. It's time. It is time. We really just need to duck off somewhere. Y'all stay dangerous. <laughs>